Genetic drift refers to the fact that a random event is more likely to change gene frequencies in a small population. This changes evolution. Have you ever wondered why it would be more likely to affect a small population? Well, let's take an imaginary variety of panda that has four different genotypes causing four different genetic traits that we can see. We have our normal happy panda. We have a panda who has a different metabolism and easily overheats. We've got a grumpy panda and we have a mysterious dark panda. So let's suppose we have a larger population of 50 pandas. In this population, our frequency of dark pandas is 0 0.22. Let's suppose, though, that a meteor comes in, strikes at random, and just by chance happens to take out one of our dark pandas. Now the frequency of the dark panda is 0 0.2. Our population has evolved. The frequency has changed, but it hasn't had a huge effect. If we had an even larger population, losing just one dark panda would have even less effect on our overall frequencies. But now let's suppose that there is a bottleneck, a random loss of lots and lots of our pandas and their genotypes. Let's say they lose habitat and our population size gets cut down to five. In this population, the frequency of our dark panda is still 0.2. Now let's suppose another random event takes place. Again, we have a blast that takes out one of our dark pandas. This time, we are left with 0% of the population being dark. The rare alleles are more likely to be lost since only a few individuals carry them. Rare events have these larger effects on small populations. The founder effect works similarly as a cause of genetic drift. Let's suppose a group of our pandas set off in search of a better life. After traveling for a while by sea, they eventually make it to their promised land. As they pull themselves on shore, we notice that not all varieties made it. With just a small group of pandas traveling, just by chance, we left the dark ones behind and we left the grumpy ones behind. Our allele frequencies are much different than they were in our main starting population. This genetic drift is totally random. Just by chance, if you take just a few individuals, the allele frequencies are probably going to be different. In this way, genetic drift causes the population to evolve. Created using Powtoon.